Hello and welcome to this gentle yoga class for self-love. So if you've been feeling particularly low or just need an extra dose of support, this class is here to help you. Let's start and we begin kneeling. If this position is too much for your knees or your hips, feel free to grab a lot of props here so you can place something soft underneath your knees. You can also place something behind your knees so that you don't have to come down so much and feel free to grab a bolster or a cushion underneath your sit bones here as well. So wherever you are in this pose, you can now place your hands on your heart, close your eyes gently, let's set an intention for what we're about to do in this class and what is your intention for how you want to feel after enduring. Perhaps you can bring up an affirmation to your mind right now. I am worthy, I am loved. And feel free to repeat that in your mind a few times. I am worthy. I am loved. And let those words spread through your body. Maybe even bring them to every movement that we do together in this class. You can gently open up your eyes. Now we're going to start working with our spine a little bit, awakening that energetic center that we have in our spine that's going to really help you get in touch with your body and realize all the potential that is there for you to love yourself and to be worthy to yourself, even when the world seems to be against you. Take your arms and open them up to the sides, your chest coming forward, with a deep breath in, breathing the energy of the world in. And on the next breath in, close in for a little hug here, rounding your spine. Whatever feels good, whatever is gentle in your body right now, no straining of this movement. Let's repeat a few more times. Feel free to keep your eyes closed if that feels better for you right now. Opening and closing the body. Your spine becoming alive, becoming supple. And notice how it feels to go from this opening of the body, opening of your body to the world, yourself to the world, to containing that energy, to closing it in. A few more times in your own pace here. Well done, one last time. Open up the arms to the sides. Push your chest forward for a little back bend here. Just take a breath here in the expansion, in the opening. And release. Well done. Meet me on all fours in tabletop position. And we're going to continue here working with our spine because that's such an important energy center when it comes to how we feel and how we interact with ourselves and the world. We do some gentle cat cows here, hollowing the back on the breath out, really letting go of any pressure. And breathing in, rounding the back. Noticing all the vertebrae working together, supporting you. And these cat cows are here to show you how to reconnect back with the energy circulating through your whole body at all times. It's always here. Breathe out through the mouth, release. 
Breathe in through the nose, round the back. And maybe you start to get a little flow here into your cat cows. Perhaps they're a little faster. Perhaps they're a little bit more free flow. Whatever feels good, you're here to honor your body. One last time. And come back to center. Well done. Now take your right foot and rotate it to the outside of your mat so that the foot is in line with your knee here. And let's meet in supported side plank pose. Pressing strongly into your leg, pushing your hips up to the sky, perhaps lifting up your arm. Breathing here, that whole side body extending Pressing strong in the straight leg and shining your chest forward. Again, feel free to close your eyes for any of the poses in these classes. And keep pushing that hip up, don't sink into your body. Feel how expanded, how strong you are. One more breath in and out. Well done. Circle the arm back down to the mat. Come meet me in tabletop. Let's repeat on the other side. Left foot comes in line with the left knee. Open up the side body here. Lifting up the arm above your head. Feeling those strong, supportive lines of your body. Pressing strongly in the left arm, pushing yourself off of the ground, but feeling that connection to the earth. And tap into your breath. Notice how the breath moves through your body. One last breath in and out here. Fill all the nooks and crannies of your side body here. Send that breath everywhere and circle the arm back down to center, back to tabletop, and let's reset in child's pose. This is your time to come back to a restful self. And know that whenever the world gets too much, whenever the pressure, the responsibilities get too much for you. You always have your body to turn to. You can always take a moment, take rest. There is no need to rush anywhere. The next in-breath, come up to tabletop. And straight from your tabletop, let's meet in down dog. Find your beautiful down dog here, no matter how it looks right now. Feel free to bend your knees if you're feeling a little bit stiff. Whatever feels good for you at this moment. And with the next out breath, drop those knees down to the mat. Just to hover a little bit above the mat here for bear pose. Feeling that core, feeling that activation. Next, in breath, shoot up the hips to the sky, back into down dog. 
Let's get some fluidity in this movement and feel how your body, how your lower back is responding. Just notice sensations in your body. Slowly at your own pace, don't rush. If this movement gets too much for you, feel free to drop the knees down for a little, little rest and then come back up into down dog. One last time, hovering the knees, activating that core, feeling your own power, your own strength. Lifting up to down dog. Well done, let's take that breather again in child's pose. Whatever feels good here, arms in front of you or in embryo pose. Just a reminder to you that in yoga classes, you don't need to rush, you can take your time and your poses can look like they look. Meet me again in down dog. And this time, let's paddle our feet a little bit. Bend your right knee here and stay in that bend, feeling the elongation of your left side here, really sinking into that elongation of the side body of your hamstring. Switch sides, bend the left knee, feeling the elongation of the right side, maybe bouncing a little bit with your upper body here, getting some buoyancy in this movement. And keep paddling your feet, bending those knees and really sinking into that elongation here. This movement is perfect for opening up your hamstrings, which so often hold a lot of stress from our daily life, such a big muscle. One more time before we meet again in child's pose, release in down dog, come onto your knees, into child's. With the next in-breath, let's meet again in down dog. And this time maybe see if you can do some small waves with your spine coming up on your toes, rounding your spine and hollowing it as you come back. Whatever this movement looks like for you is okay. We're not here to press into any extreme poses. This is for you to feel your body. Just a few times coming up on your tippy toes, following your back. One last time. Release into down dog and child's pose. Come to rest. On the next in-breath, come up to all fours and from here, find your way to standing. 
Now let's warm up the hamstring just a little bit more. Stay in halfway lift, grab hold of your elbows here and sink into ragdoll pose. Moving your body, upper body from side to side, just completely releasing your back, your shoulders, your neck. Everything heavy. Letting go of the tension in your shoulders. Notice if even in this pose you're hunching them unconsciously. Letting go of the tension in your jaw, perhaps. Placing your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Few more moments here. Just hanging, letting go, releasing that body from anything that is weighing you down. Well done. You can place your hands on the mat here for a halfway lift to look forward. And let's meet seated in the middle of your mat. To close this practice the same way that we started, find your easy pose, cross-legged pose, whatever feels good for you here. And on the next out breath, once again, open up the arms to the sides and shine your chest forward just for a tiny, tiny back bend here. And on the next breath in, hug yourself, round your spine. Let's repeat two more times, opening to the world. And containing that energy in. Last time. And give yourself a hug. Feel free to stay here for a few moments. And notice how your body is feeling after we've moved it together through some loving practices. Notice any energy circulating in your body right now. Notice any sensation. And place your hands on your heart and remind yourself of the intention that we set at the beginning of this class. I am worthy and I am loved. And feel if perhaps it resonates differently now. If it moves into your body a little bit more easily And whenever you're ready, open up your eyes. I want to thank you for joining me in this practice. Namaste.